Hamilton's and counting. Standing by for verification that the autonomous yes. flight termination ready. system. Ready for launch. And we have confirmation. Ready for launch. AFTS is ready for launch. T minus one minute and counting. BC and DC verify F9 and Dragon are in startup. F9 is in startup. Dragon is in startup. Falcon 9 and Dragon are in startup. Stage 2 is pressing for flight. Flight computer is. LD, verify go for launch. Go for launch. Launch Director Mike Taylor giving a go for launch. Terminal count coming up at T minus 30 seconds. 30. Standing by for the pad deluge water system activation at T minus 18 seconds. T minus 20. Stage one locks, pressing the flight. Minus 10. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. The 100th liftoff from Launch Pad 39A as Falcon and Dragon take flight to the International Space Station. First stage propulsion nominal. from the first stage engine cutoff and the begin of the boost back burn. And back chill started. NASA television will be showing both the second stage carrying Dragon to orbit and portions of the return of the Falcon 9 first stage engine to landing zone one at nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Less than 30 seconds away from Miko, main engine cutoff. We have Miko 1. And we have Miko 1 as planned. Stage separation confirmed. See the stage separation, first stage departing, the second stage engine igniting. Back ignition confirmed. Stage one boost back burn has started. Stage two on the left, stage one on the right. Falcon 9 first stage heading back toward Earth. Second stage continuing on its way to the International Space Station. The nose cone protecting Dragon will be jettisoned in five seconds. Stage two propulsion nominal. Stage one boost back burn, shut down. And as planned, the 
First stage boost back burn has shut down. Three minutes, 35 seconds into flight. And we're looking at the first stage making its return on the left of the uh, NASA television screen. Falcon 9 second stage, engine continues to burn. Acquisition of technology we do. Second stage will continue to burn for another five minutes, carrying the Dragon spacecraft into its preliminary orbit. In about two minutes, the first stage uh, entry burn will begin. That's a burn of about 14 seconds, bringing the uh, Falcon 9 first stage engine on. back toward Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Second stage engine performance continues to be good. Four minutes, 45 seconds into flight. SpaceX New Hampshire tracking site now tracking the uh, travels of the second stage as the first stage continues its descent. About 45 seconds away from the first stage entry burn, second stage continues to perform normally. Five minutes, 45 seconds into flight. see the stage one entry burn underway everything continues to go well stage two carrying the dragon spacecraft stage one entry burn shut down and we have shut down as planned six minutes 30 seconds into the flight stage one ATS has saved One is transonic. Stage one is flying back toward stage Earth. Landing burn starting. Landing burn is starting for stage one. Seven minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Everything continues well with the flight of the second stage in Dragon. For those in the area, there will be a loud sonic boom that will occur right about the time of landing which is expected. The length of time that the sonic boom took to reach Earth. Stage one landing legs deploying. Landing legs have deployed. And the first stage is back, just miles away from its launch point. Stage one engines have shut down. Stage one engines have shut down. LZ-1, the Falcon has landed. Landing operators proceed with initial safing per procedure 11.100, section three on LZ-1 net. Everything going according to plan, eight minutes into flight. Stage two propulsion remains nominal.
Eight minutes, 30 seconds into the flight, and about 30 seconds away from the second stage engine cutoff. That will be followed about a minute later by the Dragon spacecraft separation. Oh, send boosters landed. Stage two, APS has saved. Standing by for engine cutoff. Seco one, second stage engine cutoff. Good initial orbit. Engineers report a good initial orbit. Standing by for dragon separation in about 30 seconds. Stage two making its way on a trajectory toward the International Space Station at 51.6 degrees inclination to the equator. Stage one is back on Earth. Acquisition of signal in Newfoundland. Standing by for those in the area, separation. there will be a loud sonic boom that will occur right about the time of landing, which is expected. The length of time that Dragon deployment confirmed. And a good spacecraft separation. Dragon makes its way toward the space station. Next major milestone is the deploy of its solar arrays. Ten minutes, 40 seconds after launch. Eleven minutes, 51 seconds after the launch of Falcon, the Dragon spacecraft is flying free. The next major milestone is its deployment of its solar arrays needed to continue to power the vessel on its way toward the International Space Station and a planned rendezvous on Monday. SpaceX Mission Control in Hawthorne, California, following all the activity today.
13 minutes, 45 seconds after launch, standing by for confirmation of solar array Office deployment. Signal in New Hampshire. And we see one of the solar arrays extended. And the other solar array beginning uh, to unfurl. Everything appears to be going normally. So as Dragon unfurls its solar wings, the spacecraft continues its journey to the International Space Station. Dragon will arrive on station on Monday. NASA television coverage will begin at 8.30 a.m. for an expected capture at about 10 a.m. And that will conclude our coverage today of the launch of Falcon 9 and Dragon. For more information on the SpaceX CRS-11 mission, please visit www.nasa.gov slash SpaceX and for information about its destination, the International Space Station, visit www.nasa.gov slash station. So please t tune in for the post-launch news conference on NASA television at 6.30 p.m. this evening. Thank you for joining us and we'll leave you with a replay of today's launch.